What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Back at Copart again for another Copart walk around. Let's jump into this with number one on my list, an old Chevy truck. Well, here she is, a 98 Chevy GMT 400, 1500, no key. Oh boy. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, that would have been nice to know. Who knows, maybe the key is in it though, right? It could be. Um, she's old. She's kind of rough. Got the graphics, got the ground effects. I always liked these. I know a lot of people thought they were stupid, but I really liked the way the ground effects made the truck look. Got a, a big white wall back there. Okay. I don't know why, but there you go. All right. Overall, the body actually looks pretty dang good. The bed looks... This is... This is a lot nicer. Well, there's a little, a little bitty ding there. You could pop that back out. The body's in good shape. The ground effects are in good shape. Now, she could stand a paint job for sure. A set of tires for sure. Overall though, not bad. A little bit of a whoop to do on the grill there. I guess we can start with taking a peek at what's under the hood. I'm hoping we see a 5.7 under there. Well, that ain't no V6, I can tell you that. So. Should be a 5.7. Oh, it's a 5.0. <laughs> Oopsie, forgot they put 5.0s in these. Yeah, well, that's okay. It doesn't seem like it's leaking anything, not anything severely anyway. It's very clean under here, especially for 200,000 miles. Let's take a look at the interior. See what she looks like. And maybe, just maybe, there'll be a key in here, you know? <laughs> uh, hold on <laughs> hold on maybe the key's in here i'm looking for the i'm looking for the key let's see is it expired yet expires february 1st 2025 there you go guys you buy this truck you get you a a contraceptive <laughs> Good Lord. okay there's <laughs> there's no key in there <laughs> oh let's take a look and see if we can see a key in here somewhere. Sometimes the keys can be hidden, you know what I mean? You gotta feel around for them. Uh, I swear, if I find another key out here, like another week in a row, you guys are never gonna believe me, never. Let's see, any keys in here? No, no keys in there. There is money though. Nope. What about in here, more money? There's money all over this truck, guys money everywhere but no key glove box is falling apart again uh oh there we go again no key uh there might actually not be a key to this one i guess it would hurt to check the center console here well hell if you could even open it uh oh she's jammed Give me a minute, guys. Well, the center console is jammed. I can't get it open. If there was a key, I would bet money that the key is inside of that. But when I say it's jammed, I mean it is jammed shut, guys. A lot of fishing stuff in here. Some flowers. Looks like they never got delivered, huh? Uh, some fluids. Power steering. I was really hoping we'd find a key in here. I'm not out yet because... There is a possibility we could have a key shoved in this door over here. Oh, well, you gotta be careful digging your hands in here. Look at this. There's a fishing lure in there. That sucker gets you. That's for sure, that thing tear you up. Got a door over here. Doesn't seem to be working. That's fine. Uh, you got air conditioning equipment. Yeah, okay, well, dang. I was hoping I'd be able to find another key for you guys. It seems to really, I don't understand it, but when I find keys to these things, it really seems to piss people off. I don't know why, but people get really upset when I find keys to these cars. There's nothing in there. There are spider webs under the hood. Not looking good, guys. Not looking... Oh. 
Oh, oh, wow. <sighs> That's sad. That's sad. Yep. Well, that's where the coolant went. The engine oil is full of chunks and there's no keys. And it needs a paint job and it's got 200,000 miles on it. Unfortunately, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna walk away from this one. Next, a 2021 GMC Terrain. I really like this. I really, really like this. It does have a little bit of damage. We'll take a look at that. It's only got 3,870 miles on the odometer. What could possibly be wrong with it? What, do you see anything? Do you see anything? Okay, I said a little bit of damage. I haven't been able to look at it for myself until now, so we're gonna find out together how bad it is. Okay. I know it has rear end damage. I could see that in the pictures, but what I'm curious about is just how significant is the damage down here? Okay, it pushed the pan in a little bit. It broke an exhaust hanger. Oh, hold on. Is that frame damage? Oh, oh, damn. Well, yeah, that's uh, well, okay, so on these, it's not, they don't call it a frame, it's a unibody. How about this side? Oh yeah, buckled there too, right there. Yeah. Yeah, so this is unibody, they don't call it a frame, but I still call it a frame, okay? It's the structural part of the vehicle, so I call it a frame. I guess this closes on its own. I say that could be fixed, guys. Super easy. Super, ooh, she don't want to close. Uh-oh, well, we got a little bend here too. You can get somebody straighten that out. That's not awful, that could be straightened out. You just gotta give it a little, little push there. Let's take a look. Oh man, this is nice. Hell, I'd almost buy this anyway, I don't care. I don't care about a little bit of a little bit of unibody damage. I'll hook it to a tree, pull it out, and put a new bumper on, call it a day. That's how I would do it. Got your key there. Oh, someone had some good taste in music. We'll go ahead and turn that down, though. Can we turn that down? Wait, where's the damn... There's the damn radio. Let's turn that down. All right. Two sets of keys. Remote start. This is nice. Well, I mean, we don't need to check these windows, really, do we? I mean, it's got 4,000 miles on it. Everything's gonna work. Everything is gonna work. We gotta do this, though. Oh, that is just so satisfying. There we go. All right. Power seats. It's got heads-up display, too. This is a really nice little vehicle, guys. Reverse. It vibrated my seat when I did that. Hold on. I want to do that again. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Alright. I have never experienced that before. When you put this car in reverse, it tickles your butt. It's got some kind of rollers or something in the lower bolsters uh, of, of where your butt is on the bottom seat that tickle your cheeks when you put it in reverse. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. I don't know why it does that. That's weird, but okay. Uh, you got some terrain modes. You've got heated seats, of course. Hill descent assist, lane departure, warning and assist. All that stuff, probably. Blind spot alert, some good stuff like that as well. Let's see what she's working with under the hood. Probably just a little four-cylinder Ecotec. I don't imagine there'd be anything much bigger than that under here. Of course the tires are good. Everything on this is good, guys. It's a brand new car. 
brand new car. Oh, of course. Little turbo Ecotec. I don't know what size it is. 1.8, 1.5, okay. It used to be a 1.4, now it's a 1.5. What a shame. What a shame. This could still be a very good vehicle. I'm telling you, if it was me, I would I would just pull that back end out as good as I could, put a new bumper on it, and I'd be done with it. We'd call it a day. The air conditioning is ridiculously cold, guys. Ridiculously cold. Insane. Owner's manual, everything is in the glove box. You got a few little doodads up here. Your OnStar, all that good stuff. No sunglasses. Any money? Nope, no money. Never. There's never money. Sometimes there's money. Usually there's not any money, though. Rear seat reminder. Look in rear seat. Yeah, I'm good. I didn't leave anybody in here. All right. Well, I guess that was short, sweet, and to the point, wasn't it? There she is, guys. I like this one. I do. I really like this one. Let's move on to the next one. Last on my list, 2017 Nissan Sentra. You know what we need in, in Oklahoma? A heavy downpour, like real heavy to clean these cars. I'll give them all a bath so we can see what we're even looking at. 44,000 miles. What is it here for? Oh, hail. That makes sense, yeah. Okay. There it is. It is hard to see it. In fact, impossible up here. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, I just can't tell how bad it is though. That's the problem. You can't tell how bad it is. Um, it's got a saloon tire there. It's got a saloon there as well. Good tires. I mean, well, I don't know about that, but they got good tread tumbleweed stuck in the wheel there there we go go fly free yeah i can't tell you how bad the hail damage is guys hey look at that wilson baseball oh yeah that's a mess that is a uh, that is a mess a lot of times they do you solid and they clean it up not here you got paw prints everywhere it smells like mildew oh, it smells like yeah, I don't want to tell you what it smells like. It's it's it smells real bad in there. That's that's bad. All right. Paw prints everywhere. The thing about these cars that have animals in them is these animals get in here, man, and they just urinate and defecate wherever they please. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't know what you're sitting in, I guess, is what I'm trying to tell you. <sighs> oh. Well, there's still money in here, though. So that's something. This one has a key. That's good. Let's go ahead and see what she does. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. You need a jump start. We'll go ahead and do that. It's, it smells freaking awful, guys. This one smells really bad. Uh, <laughs> wonder how long this thing has been sitting. Let's find that hood release and let's prop her up. There we go. Let's grab the jump starter and fire this bad boy up. This thing is tough, man. It's still going strong. Oh, that is gross. All right, negative and positive. She's got 10.6, that's not too bad. Maybe that corrosion. Let's give her the juice. There you go, almost 12 volts. That'll get her going. Oh, I should have left these doors open. You just, you open the door and the smell just hits you in the face, man. It's like getting punched. Um, uh-oh, well that sure ain't good, is it? Which 
trying to get a little a little better connection there maybe right there there we go i'll try it again there's so much corrosion on this thing well okay maybe we should try to find a different ground we could try a ground like right there let's try this for a ground i got a feeling it's the positive that's causing us problems there's a ground right there come on i'll try that <laughs> i will get it i will i'll get it you watch all right and yeah there's so much corrosion on this positive side guys i have no doubt that that's where the problem's coming from let's do an emergency boost force it to stay on there we go and let's try let's try this maybe maybe All right, here we go. There we go. Oh God, it's, oh. It is so freaking awful in here. Uh, I'm not even kidding. I'm not exaggerating. It, re it really is that bad. It smells awful in here. Let's clean that windshield off a little bit. See how bad it is. Oh yeah, that's real bad. Yeah, that's really, really bad. Put it in gear. Backwards, yes. Forwards, yes. All right. Air conditioning. I'm almost terrified to turn that on. Turn it on cold. Obviously, important window works. Less important window works as well. Brakes feel good. Steering feels good. You got your eco and your sport modes traction control if you want to do burnouts i guess i don't know i don't know what you would do burnouts in this for if you even could i'm sure if you tried hard enough you could make it do a burnout drive time is that a uh i think that's a i think that's a buy here pay here dealership i could be wrong but i think that's a buy here pay here dealership where is the trunk release there's fuel that's hood I don't know, maybe you just open it from the back, I guess. Let's check in the trunk real quick. We haven't done that in a while. Oh, you know what? We can't. We ain't going to be able to open this because of all of that. Okay, well. Aside from smelling really bad and needing a back window and obviously having hail damage. She sounds good. This should give it enough juice to hopefully... Uh, hopefully start itself up we'll try that out here in just a second get this out front of the hood here so i don't uh so i don't forget about it she sounds good she does purrs like a kitten go ahead and close this up i kind of want to bid on this one I got a glass guy, man. They'll come out to the house and throw that back glass in for you. What do we got? We got some lights on the dash. Let's see what, what's going on here. TPMS light. Oh. Low fuel. That's it. Yeah, air conditioning is very cold, so we can we can go ahead and shut that off. Let's give her a little rev. sounds good there's your uh, trunk release right there power mirrors doesn't smell so bad now that we got the windows open not too shabby guys you think she'll start back up yeah she sure will she sure will I'm curious how much this is going for. 
let's go ahead and pull this up real quick. Let's see what the price is on it. So here it is, 2017 Nissan Sentra S, 14,957 is the estimated retail value. Clear title, it's not salvaged. Current bid is 3,300 bucks and it's a pure sale. Let's just throw a little something on it and see what happens. It can't hurt anything, right? You've already been outbid. Well, let's, let's just try it again. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Throw a little more on it. All right, let's, let's try it one more time. One more time. One more time. Come on. Uh, we've been outbid again. I mean, I know it's worth more than that, guys. We are still winning that Ford Focus ST as well. So I'll think about it. Moving on. Or wait. That's it. This is the end. Well, with that, I guess we're going to get out of here. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, well, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.